uh, inspection of wooden floors or chipboard flooring to squeak in a movement. Uh, we've, in, we've created three inspection holes using the trend roundabout jig system. Uh, one for each end of the room, each side of the room and one in the middle. Uh, upon removal we found a 22mm chipboard floor uh, spaced upon 250mm joists. As you can see first of all I found no evidence of glue gluing the chipboard floor down to the joist, to the surface of the joist. However, I have found some evidence of glue on the tongue and groove of the chipboard flooring, hence uh, breakages upon this piece when taken out. You'll notice I've drilled or created the holes in different areas to ascertain the joint method upon the floor in itself. We've noticed that we have no noggins within the floor that is placed directly upon the joists and the joints fall wherever they fall. So in other words, not upon any form of noggin or upon the joist itself. This one here is missing just just on the peripherals of the joist, look. The perimeter cut, the flooring, sort of just gets under the skirting board at this end, so it's probably one inch short of the wall, one and a half inches short of the wall. I would have thought half an inch would have been better, hence skirting covering the flooring. And at this end, we've got half an inch short of the skirting, so that's a good probably two inches short of the wall time the dot dab and skirting is on. The flooring is secured with three screws per two in two foot rip of flooring and these are chipboard screws or plasterboard screws which are 60 millimeters long uh, hence plasterboard screw 60 millimetres long. I'd have thought we should have perhaps gone for 70s. 